recording now? Yes, we are. So, hi, it's Iris Paso. Sorry again for bad lighting, bad filming, and so on. I'm recording for Oporto's gym in uh, Koron, Thailand. It's an awesome gym. I've just been working out, working on those muscles. It's a British guy who's been living here for 18 years and owns it. Um, I think he's a bodybuilder, a big guy now. Uh, I also have all the equipment I need, so I'm really happy. So I bought a two-week uh, workout car now. I'm going to try to use it as much as I can. Sorry today, so because it's raining outside, it's raining dreadfully. But we're not here to talk about working out or gym. We're here for another stupid question. And my stupid question of the day, stupid question number 91, I think we're at 91, is do we need no in I know there's been a lot of talk. Uh, whether if it's okay to use null or not, and to check for nulls and so on. And it seems to be a rather big discussion. And I remember when I was just getting started with programming, I would have this weird null reference exception all the time. And I know what it is now, and I don't have them too often, but I do have them now and again, and kind of embarrassing. Uh, but if we weren't able to set null, and we were actually forced, us not, not to use an old, then we wouldn't have these problems, right? Well, it, for me, it seems like if we were to remove that, we would just kind of cover up the problem, because the problem is not uh, the null itself, really. It's how the programmer is thinking at the time uh, <laughs> when, when that is implemented. But there, there are some schools, uh, theories, where they actually will, would recommend using, uh, using uh, non normal references and uh, you can actually implement that in different ways. I'm not going to go into details. I honestly haven't done that before. Uh, but I was reading up on it and there seems to be a lot of uh, gotchas on it as well. So if you were to do that, you would introduce new problems. And with introducing new problems, I'm kind of wonder wondering how the maintenance of the code would be if a programmer who is used to working with nullable, uh, with null, uh, if we were to look at the code, would he really understand what's going on? Okay, so that would be one problem. And it also seems to be kind of the argument why we still, why we are using null in C-sharp, why it's there. Uh, because introducing null now would basically I mean it would interrupt the, the programming flow of the programmers. They kind of use the programming in a certain way and working with null. And if you have a look at Stack Overflow, quite a few programmers seem to be seem to be rather happy checking checking for nodes here and there. Like, is it here? Is it there? Is it here? Is it there? You know, kind of like a magic trick. You know, you got the brick up, and there's a knock underneath, and you look to see it's there. So, I don't. I try to avoid using all as much as I can. But the truth is, it's kind of like with the the question I had about do we need properties in C sharp? Do we really need properties, or can we just use fields and methods? Uh, and basically, I think the same goes for no as without. We, we don't really need it. We can work without it. But it's there, and I, I will continue using it as little as possible. But I will use it basically because somebody's going to maintain my code, and I'm kind of just going to do what like the rest is doing. But I'll have a try, and I'll have a try working uh, uh, working with non uh, nullable references and see. Uh, how I feel about that. So I haven't given it a real good go, and I'm gonna do that before I really make up my mind. But for now, the simple answer is, no, we don't have to use it. Uh, it doesn't have to be there. But it seems to be rather popular, don't you think? And um, it's not the exception that's the problem. Uh, it's what's causing the exception. Uh, but we all knew that, right? So, well, thank you. That was stupid question number 91. I have to admit, I'm not 100% uh, happy with the answer, but I need to code a little bit before I can give a better answer. Uh, for now, no just points to nothingness, uh, and I'm not happy with pointing to nothingness in my code, really. So, uh, let, let, me, let me have a little bit of coding, and, and I'll return to you with a better answer. But that's the best I could do for now. And please, please add some comments. Your comments are very valuable for me. Uh, I really need them. I'm still just learning stuff. Uh, every day I learn stuff at the gym, every day I learn stuff in front of my computer. And people are the best source of documentation, as I like to say. So, enlighten me! And so, thank you. I'm gonna have a protein shake, and we're gonna meet my family. And yeah, question number 92 coming up. See you. Bye.